So for this tutorial, you're going to need some yarn of your choice. I just have a number four worsted weight here. I don't have a brand to share with you because um, this comes from Mexico. But um, I know it's a number four because I've tested it out. You're going to need some stitch markers. And just a regular stitch marker. You can use a bobby pin or a piece of uh, yarn or anything like that. And then you're going to need a... G size hook. Sorry, that isn't super bright. It's a 4.0 millimeter G size hook. Probably can't see it because it's engraved into the words, but it's a G size hook. So, what we're going to do to start out is um, I'm going to put a link here. Um, so, there'll be a link, let's see, right here at the bottom to the basic crown. And so if you want to go there and click on that video, then you will be able to see how to make the basic crown that we will need to start this hat. And then come back over here and you can continue watching that video. Okay, so here is the crown for um, the 60 stitches of the crown. And if you just watched the video on how to make the basic crown, you will see I just did it with this yarn. But I am still using the G hook and this has 60 stitches. And in this case, for this design, you're gonna wanna make sure you have 72 stitches. So you're gonna wanna do one more row of increase. So that would be an increase and then four stitches, increase four all the way around to where you have 72 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete that and we will continue. Okay, so now I have 72 stitches all the way around and I apologize in advance for any noise or anything. Um, I am in my camper in my driveway because it's the quietest place in the house, <laughs> even though it's not in the house. Um, so if there's any car noise or people walking by, I apologize in advance. So we have chained our three um, on our next round here. And you're going to want to do one double crochet in the next stitch. But there's going to be a little bit of a change. We have been doing a double crochet into the top of the stitch where the V-stitch is. It's kind of hard to see in that darker color. But see how there's the V-stitch there? So we have been like going into the stitch like this. Pick up the V-stitch. Well, in order for us to see it better and we're not going to get so confused, um, a better way to do it would be to go up um, under the V on top of the post. So here's the post stitch. So when you look at the stitch, you can see the the, the yarn and you're going to want to go up under and kind of like right through that stitch. So you're actually right through that stitch and go ahead and complete your double crochet as normal. And that puts you directly on top because as you can see like with the row below, it puts you slightly to the left of that stitch or to the right depending on which way you're watching this video. So we want to be directly on top. So now would be a good time to grab your stitch marker because the nature of the hat, it kind of, um, let me see, let me zoom it out. It kind of waves a bit and it's really hard to see where's my chain three um, at the beginning of my row. So I am going to grab a stitch marker and I'm going to place it right here at the top of the chain three. So one, two, three, I'm going to place it right here at the top so I know right where it is so there's no confusion. So we did two double crochets and for every time we do a double crochet we're going to go right into the top of that stitch. Whoops, wrong way. Every time we're going to do a double crochet right on top so it makes sense of where we are because it's very easy to get confused and I definitely don't want to do that. <clears throat> so there's going to be some treble crochet um, in this tutorial. If you're not sure how to do a treble, I'll put a link right here and you can go and click on it and make sure you are um, completely comfortable with making the treble. So I was going to do a quick review 
and so you're going to wrap your yarn around twice you're going to count um, over three so you skip two stitches and go to the third stitch so now we're going to be doing a front post treble crochet so basically it's just picking up the post from the front to the back like this so I turn it on its side so you can see what I mean we're just picking it up like that and we're going to yarn over it and pull it through and now you have four loops on your hook so you want to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two just like that sorry the camera swing so you can see how it's pulling this way that's going to help form our um, cables so we're going to do another treble and we're going to yarn over and go into the fourth stitch and do a front post treble in that stitch yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two just like that now we're going to yarn over twice again but we're going to go to that first and second skip stitches and let me zoom out a tad so you can see what I'm doing here. So we're going to do a treble, front post treble around the first skip stitch. So you kind of go backwards in a way and pick up that stitch just like before. Yarn over and, and complete the treble as, as usual. And what I find so I don't drop my stitches is I kind of grab it and pinch that um, stitch and kind of turn it in a way so I can really just get into that stitch and see what I'm doing because otherwise it gets really confusing let me show you what I mean if you don't twist it so we're gonna yarn over twice and go to that number two stitch and pick that up and when you do it in the front it's really easy to not be able to see what you're doing and then you're like okay did I just pull through the full the full stitch did I drop some of the yarn which actually I happen to do so for me, it's just easier to twist it. It's a personal preference, and I'm all about making it easier for me to do it and understand. So I'm just going to grab it and twist it just like that, and just pinching it between my thumb and my middle finger so I can really see what I'm doing, just like that. And now we're going to go to that, the next unworked stitch. And we're going to do a double crochet right through the top of that stitch. Excuse that, my daughter wanted to come in and visit. So we're going to do the double crochet right into the top of that, going underneath the V. So go into that stitch and do a regular double crochet right there. And we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to do a uh, back post um, or a front post double crochet, excuse me. So we're going to do a front post double crochet, just pick up that post and do a double crochet. And that's going to happen in these next two stitches, just like this. So it kind of breaks it up. So when we have a four cable, we do two double crochets on the either side. And now we're going to do a six post cable and we're going to do two front post cables on either side of that. So we're going to yarn over twice and go to the fourth cable or fourth stitch, excuse me, for the six post cable and do a treble into that fourth stitch and do the same in the fifth. And the sixth. Now we're going to go to the first stitch. So we're going to go way back over here, the first, second, and the third stitch. So we're going to go to the first stitch, and I kind of hold it. It helps me not to lose my yarn on the end of there. And complete that treble. And then we're going to go to the second stitch. And we're going to do the third right there. And now we're going to do two front post double crochets in the next two unworked stitches. And that kind of pulls the first, second, and third stitch over this way so we get that twisting effect. And you won't really see it on this row so much. You'll see it probably after not the next row but the one after that you can kind of see it a little bit but it's not really making much sense so there's our front two front post 
double crochets. So now we're going to do a four post cable. So we're going to do two regular double crochets. So do two double crochets and the next two stitches, one in each, whoops, sorry, one in each stitch. I don't want to go on top of the V, under the V. I want to go in the stitch. So that double crochet is right on top. And then we're going to do a treble into that third stitch. Front post treble. And then into the fourth. And then we're going to go to the first back here. Oops, put that in the way. And to the second. And now because we did a four post cable, we're going to do two double crochets on this side of the four post. So let me show you this set again. So we just did a four post, so now we're going to go do a six post. But to start the six post, to set it up the way we need to do it, we need to do two front post double crochets. And the next two stitches, one in each of the next two stitches. And then we're going to do a six post. So go to the fourth stitch over here. I'm going to speed up a little bit now. Oops, I dropped that stitch. And the same with the sixth. And then we're going to go back to the first, which is right here. I go back over there, pick up that stitch. And the second. And the third. And then we're going to do two front post double crochets, one in each of the next two stitches. Of the next unworked stitches, I should say. So that completes that. So it's just basically repeating. So <clears throat> let me zoom out one way here. And you can see it's starting to pull in, and that's okay. That's what we wanted to do. That's why we did that extra row. Um, because it's going to really start to pull in, but we want it to be big enough to fit our head. But we don't want it too big. If we did it with an eye, it'd be too big. So basically, um, as a, a recap, you do two double crochets, and then you do a four post cable, two double crochets, and then you do two front post double crochets, a six post cable, and two front post double crochets. And then two regular double crochets and a four post and two regular and then two front a six post and two regular so you just keep repeating that all the way around if you're not sure how to do that just go ahead and rewind this uh, until you feel comfortable and good about it and see what i mean about it kind of goes up and down so it's kind of hard to see where that is because it's in that loop so that's why you need that stitch marker so go ahead and complete this round and we'll continue so I'm coming up to the end here and I just finished my six post cable and here is our chain three and we just have two unworked stitches left and after we do our six post we need to do two front post double crochets. So you should end with two front post double crochets. If you haven't done that then go ahead and check your work. So we're going to remove our stitch marker. And we're going to join to the top of the V stitch right here. I don't know if you can see that, the light blue. There we go. Picking up the front and the back right here. And chain three. Okay. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in here. Okay. So now this row and the next row changes just a little bit. So in these rows, let's do go ahead and do a double crochet in that next stitch really quick. Just so we can get this started and get away from that stitch marker. Okay, so in these next two rows are going to be the same. So anytime you see a front post uh, crochet, so all of the cables are worked in the front post, and then we have these two on either side of the sixth post, you're going to want to work a front post double crochet. So these 
this cable for is all front posts. So we're going to want to work a front post. So let's do these next four. Let me zoom in here so you can see really good. And this is going to pull out that twist. So you might be looking at this going, well, where is that next stitch? Just pull this over. Sometimes it helps to lift these over. You see it's right there. And then just pick up that stitch right there. And so that would be the three and the four, and then this is the one and the two. So by doing the front post in here, whoops, let me zoom out a little bit. By doing the front post here, it really makes those cables twist. Okay, so we just did a front post double crochet in those four stitches at our four post uh, cable. So these are two regular double crochets, so we just want to do a regular double crochet on top of those. And these two before the six cable are front posts, so we're going to do a front post in those. And then here's our six uh, cable of six, or six, um, my, my brain just went blank. This is our uh, cable of six, our crochet of six. Blah. Okay, sorry. So all these are worked in the front post, so we're going to want to work these in the front post. So I, you can see the first one clearly, but, oops, I don't know what that is. Number two and three, actually four, five, and six, because that's four. They're under here, but they're just hidden. See you there, right there? So you're going to want to work a front post. I'm trying to say six cable crochet and it just would not come out of my mouth. It's got from my brain to my lips and it lost translation somewhere. So um, that's the fourth and the fifth and then just pick this up and move it and then oops, and there's our sixth one right there. It's just hiding. So we're doing these to pull out those stitches and show how it really twists. So this is the first, second, and third and it's still part of the cable and it's still a front post so we're going to do a front post on these stitches and now it's really starting to get bumpy so that's really important that we keep our stitch marker in there see how that's starting to to roll a little bit going up and down up and down so these are front posts so we're going to do a front post into these front post double crochet And then we're heading up to our four post uh, double crochets. And these two are regular double crochets, so we're going to do that again. So this is just repeating, just like this. And these are front posts, so we're going to pick up the front post. And they're hiding right here. I'm going to pick up those, just like that. Just pick up the cable, not anything else. Okay, then these are two regular double crochets because it's next to a four cable. So we just do two regular double crochets. Whoops, not under the V stitch. My hand and my mind just wants to go right under that. We're gonna go right through the stitch down a little bit lower. So you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. So, <clears throat> keep pushing it the wrong way I'm so sorry so let me do a recap here so where there's a double crochet you're gonna do a regular double crochet when we did a front post we do a front post double crochet and then right here is a regular double crochet so we do two regular double crochets next two stitches were a front post double crochet so we do a front post double crochet and then here's our sixth cable so all these are front post right here and then at the end of the six post was, oops, sorry, is our two front post double crochets again. And then we're coming up to our four post double crochets. So here's two regular. And then these four would be front post and then two regular. So it's just that the same sequence all the way around for the end of this round and then the next round on that. And then we will continue with the hat. Okay, so I've just completed the ninth row, which was a repeat of number eight, because seven was where we began to do the cables. So you're gonna wanna be repeating rows seven, eight, and nine one more time. 
and um, that will be just these two times is where we do the cable and then um, the two rows to bring that cable through. Let me see if I can turn it here and show you. You hope you can see on your own, but see how that really turns the cable and then doing those two rows pulls those back cables out so you can see it twisting really well. Let me show you in a different color here. How you can really see, I don't know on the gray, it's just gonna show up so much, but yeah, you can see it, how it's twisting really pretty. So um, we're gonna go ahead and repeat rows seven, eight, and nine one more time. Okay, so I have my rows completed and you can see that you can really see the cables forming and see how it twists and then these cables go under here and then that twist over it really makes a nice design so I have it on my mannequin head and you can see it's still a little short even if you put it on your head so what we're gonna do now is three rounds of half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and if you're not sure how to do that I'll put a link right here in the video and um, so go ahead and complete those three rounds and we will continue Hi guys, so here is my finished beanie. It turned out really well. I just needed the three rounds of half double crochet. And I hope you can see the details. My husband said it was kind of hard. I think it might pick up better on video though of the details of the cables while he tries to figure out how to do it. There he goes, zooming in. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put a subscription link uh, right here in the right hand corner and um, be sure to uh, give us a comment down below and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.